Say Savage, Day Savage, your boy Shino Bentro, what's poppin'? Today we are here, and guess what? We got 10 facts about the boy Nagato. Yes, you guys requested this in the last few videos, comment section. You know, I went through the comment section, I wanted to see who you guys was actually expecting, and as I strolled down, I seen Nagato names a few times, quite a lot of times. So, today we're gonna be doing Nagato, we're gonna do 10 facts about the boy that you should know. If you guys are excited, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for daily content, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and stay tuned for the whole thing. Whipping all this double bit of trap out. We both call you bitches at the trap out. I can't trust you, I can't give you real address. I can't trust you, I can't give you real address. It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger. I might fall in love with my trap out. Number 10, the name Nagato means long lasting gate. So my man is a gate that's gonna be there forever pretty much. He may be named after the famous ninja Fujibayashi Nagato who in the 16th century was considered one of the greatest Joni. I was like, whoa, hold up, wait a minute. You boy got nicknamed after somebody who was known as one of the greatest Joni of all time? That's insane. Number nine. Nagato's desired opponent was anyone in order to protect his friends. My boy was one of them day ones. He was a ride or die. You play with the squad, you bound to die straight up. If you cross my man's path, my man was coming at your neck. If you touch one of his homies, if you touch Yahiko, you touch Conan, that boy was coming in with the chopper blazing straight up. Number eight, Nagato's favorite food was grilled fish and stew. I like me some grilled fish. I'm from New Orleans, if you guys don't know, so we we, we tend to have some pretty good food down here. And the fact that my man like the grilled fish, and I like the grilled fish, we could relate. And also, stew? Oh, man, depending on what kind of stew. I like my stew with a lot of potatoes. I wonder if he likes his stew the same way. Uh, I don't really care about all the carrots, but, you know, that man likes grilled fish and stew. I, I fucks with that. Number seven, unbeknownst to Nagato, his first six pads of pain were all composed of individuals that met Jiraiya when they were alive. So pretty much everybody that my man Jiraiya had to fight against, those were the people that Jiraiya had encountered throughout his life. And these people had some point, some had encountered Jiraiya at some point in their life. That's kind of fucked up. Like, in order to, you have to fight people you know. That's like going and say, you know, my best friend go ahead and die and then I have to fight him after he comes back to life. I, I would really wear that on my chest. And the, the whole point of Yahiko being controlled, oh my god. Number six. Nagato's favorite phrase was the stars are hidden on a rainy night. When Nagato was a child, his favorite phrase was growing up. This man wanted to grow up really fast when he was a kid, but as he got older, he wanted to stare at the stars during the rainy night. Now that I think about it, you can't see the stars when it's raining unless it's one of those rains where there's no clouds in sight. But those are usually rare, and most of the time you only see sunlight when those occur. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Now you got me thinking, Nagato. Number five. So we are halfway through this list. I hope you guys are enjoying this list so far. But my boy Inochi Yamanaka compared the six pats of pain's techniques to the Yamanaka's clan mind body switching technique. He also said that it was the same technique, but it was on a much greater scale. The fact that the Yamanaka clan, who is like perfectionist of the body switching technique, even praised it and said that it was a higher scale of their jitsu, you know, that alone basically says, you know, look at Nagato. He's on a scale of his own. But I mean, he is like god body if, if you really think about it number four during the kazikage rescue mission nagato's renegon were depicted with wrong colors due to the renegon not having been illustrated with colors in the manga yet so when you see this shit you're gonna be like oh my god why does this look so bad if they would have kept that as the actual renegon i don't think i would be a big fan of it because it really definitely looks strange and i kind of noticed it back then too and i was like wait the renegon doesn't match up with how it looks now that's weird. So if you ever get the chance, go back and check it out. Number three, and keeping up with his God theme, his theme song is Giri, a haunting theme that consists of holy chanting. Yes, that boy Nagato has a holy chanting theme song. So when you hear it, you think of some God type of being that just spot destroy every damn thing straight up. Number two, three of Nagato's six pets of pain are playable in Ultimate Storm Heroes 3, while the other three appear as support characters. The fact that you get to use each one of those individually, that's pretty damn dope. I think it's pretty fly. I can't even lie. Number one, there are actually seven pads of pain. Nagato Uzumaki was the seventh pad. It is also known as the outer pad. The boy Nagato himself was a pad and he was controlling the pads. This man was pretty much the sage of seven pads now that I think about it because there was a six pads of pain and then there was the seventh which was the outer pad which was Nagato. So technically he's the sage of seven pads? Huh. 
that's pretty interesting now that I think about it. Alrighty, guys, that was 10 facts about the boy Nagato Uzumaki. If you guys enjoyed this 10 facts about Nagato Uzumaki, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for daily content. We do have some other facts about different Naruto characters. We will be adding more anime characters very soon. All you gotta do is leave a suggestion in the comment section below. If you missed any episodes, I will leave a link to the last facts video I did in the description below. You could check that out as well as the playlist. So until next time, this is your boy and your boy, Shino Bentro. Stay true, stay real, and I hope you guys enjoy today's 10 facts. Also, leave your character suggestions. I do read those. That's where I pull these from. So until next time, have a great day.